Byleth has officially joined Smash Ultimate, and with them comes a handful of balance tweaks to the game in the 7.0 patch. So with this video, we want to quickly go over the changes made to Ultimate, and don't worry, we'll have some content further breaking down the latest Fire Emblem character in Smash soon as well. And if this video, or the release of Byleth, has you excited to start competing more in Ultimate, check out ProGuides.com for on-demand coaching through Instapro to get you prepared to compete at your next regional. Our new Pro Pass grants you free passes to Instapro, along with a plethora of exclusive content all posted daily. Check the link in the description to learn more about Pro Guides. But with that out of the way, let's start by talking about the adjustment to a handful of characters' shield sizes before we talk about who got buffed and nerfed. More than 40 characters got the size of their shield increased in this patch, with some of the most notable of these being Olimar, Game & Watch, Pichu, Pikachu, and Squirtle. A handful of characters also got some specific tweaks to how their shields function on top of an increased size. DK's head stays invincible briefly when his shield is released. Dark Samus's arm, Yoshi's head and legs, and Snake's head become invincible immediately after starting the shielding animation. Ridley's wings used to be invincible when shields started and ended, but now the position of his shield has been changed so that his hurtbox doesn't initially stick out of shield. The position and size of Mewtwo's shield has also been adjusted so that the character's hurtbox does not initially poke outside the shield. Lastly, K. Rool's shield is centered on his body and has its size changed top. Exactly how significant these changes will be for these characters is for sure going to take a few days of labbing to completely know, but having a larger shield is for sure a buff for characters like Olimar, whose mains have been begging for shield fixes since the game's release. That then leaves us with the other 10 characters that had significant changes in patch 7.0. Let's start with the character people have been begging for Nintendo to adjust since his release, Joker. Joker's neutral special, Gun, now has a shorter range when shooting downward in the air. This takes a minor gimping tool out of Joker's toolbox, but it alone shouldn't affect Joker too much. What does have the potential to be huge is that the Arsene summon time reduction from getting hit by moves is much much more significant now. Previously, Arsene was active for 30 seconds, and Joker lost a second of Arsene being active for every 5% of damage he took. We don't have the exact numbers pulled from the game just yet, but limiting the time players have to wait out for the part of Joker's kit that makes him truly frightening is for sure a significant nerf. Next, we jump over to Palutena, the other top tier that much of the community has been clamoring for nerfs to. Her Nair now has less knockback than before, and the last hit has less range. Her down throw now has more knockback, which makes linking moves into it like Bear much harder than it was previously. In exchange for these, they made Palutena's up tilt slightly stronger, and lastly, the sweet spot of her down smash does more knockback. The minor buff there to make up for the first two nerfs is a nice thought, but this patch overall is a negative one for the goddess. Nair is at the core of what makes Palutena, and the reduction on the range of that last hit will make it much harder to link the move into itself, which was critical for racking up damage with the character. And those are the only two top tiers we saw get significant changes, but we've still got eight characters from various lower tier levels that got buffs. Let's start with Cloud, formerly dominant in Smash 4, but pretty disappointing in Ultimate. Cloud's dash attack now knocks enemies back further when hit with the sweet spot. His multi-hit forward smash now lands all hits more consistently. Cloud's up smash now comes out faster and launches enemies further away when the sword tip connects with them. His up B now snaps to ledge more quickly, making his pretty bad recovery at least a tiny bit better. And lastly, his limit gauge, which is the core of his kit, now charges faster with down B. These are all changes welcomed by Cloud mains, especially limit charging faster, but the quality of those limit options still pale in comparison to a Smash 4 iteration. Cloud should be able to jump over a few characters in the tier list, but I don't expect these changes to cause any dramatic movement. Next up, both the Tiny Links got changes, so let's start with the more popular Young Link. His Jab 1 now comes out faster. Young Link's Up Smash, Up Air, and Forward Throw all now send enemies further away. Lastly, his Zare comes out faster, launches opponents at a different angle, and keeps enemies in hit stun for longer. Nothing game-changing here for Young Link at first glance, but be ready to see them using Zare a tiny bit more when you run into one, especially if the Zare to forward smash combos that some mains have been posting online prove to be true. Toon Link got similarly minor buffs as well. His dash attack now allows him to start acting sooner after using it. Down smash knocks opponents further back. Bear comes out quicker. 
the weak hitbox of Dare now does more damage and knocks back enemies further, and lastly, the hitbox for Toon Link Zare stays out for a longer time. Again, same sentiment from the other fun size Link. Lots of minor changes, but if you didn't play Toon Link before, these probably won't be enough for you to jump over to him now. Ryu and Ken were one of the two main and echo pairs who got multiple changes in this patch. Their changes include heavy down tilt now launches enemies at a different angle, down smash is now able to be cancelled into a special move on hit, but now does less damage against shields. Base Hadouken now causes less shield stun, but Shakunetsu Hadouken more easily hits enemies multiple times. And last, Ryu and Ken's side special does more damage, its strong hitbox has more knockback, and the leg that they pivot on is now invincible while using the move on the ground. Ryu and Ken are characters with an incredibly high skill ceiling that I don't think we've even gotten close to. And even if these buffs do bring more top players over to the Street Fighter boys, I still think we're a long way from reaching the ceiling with them. The other pair of main and echo characters that got buffed in 7.0 were Samus and Dark Samus. The early hitbox of Dash Attack now does more damage. Up Smash, Down Smash, and Up Throw all have more knockback. And lastly, their Zares do more damage and have hitboxes that stay out longer. Samus and Dark Samus will still unfortunately be hanging out in the mid-tier of Ultimate's cast of characters with these buffs. But it's nice to see that the balance team has their eyes on her yet again since her last real change came in the 3.0 patch. While not a pair anymore, Zelda and Sheik both got a bag of buffs in this patch as well. We'll go over Zelda first. Her forward tilt now does both more damage and knockback, her nair more easily hits enemies multiple times and has reduced end lag when landing after using it, side B now has a larger sweet spot and its hitbox stays out for longer, and lastly, her down B does more damage and knocks enemies back further. Zelda's had a pretty rough career as a Smash character across the four games she's been in, and Ultimate has been the kindest to her so far, but finally, she's getting the buff she needs. We don't really see much of any Zeldas at the highest level in Ultimate, but if these buffs all meld together to give her something special that makes her stand out from the cast, we might see that change. Sheik has had a much more volatile Smash career with her power level of mid to low tier in Ultimate, most likely coming as reaction to how dominant she was at points in Smash 4. Maybe Nintendo sees this as an overcorrection, as she got some serious buffs in this patch. Down Smash now comes out faster and more easily hits enemies multiple times. Standing Grab now has larger range. Nair now has less end lag when landing after using the move. Side B now has less end lag both when using the move on the ground and in the air, the amount of time the explosion hitbox stays out is now longer, and the explosion no longer gets negated by moves. Lastly, her up B now has more knockback. Sheik is still really just one or two good things away from being an incredible character, mainly a reliable way to kill enemies, but these changes will definitely push her use up even more than her last round of buffs and should make players like Void very happy. Last of the characters who got big changes is Dr. Mario. The Doctor's forward tilt now does more damage and knocks opponents further back. His down tilt now keeps enemies and hits done for longer and doesn't knock them nearly as far away, which combine together to make follow-ups easier. Nair's sweet spot does more damage and more knockback. Dare's hitbox stays out for longer. And lastly, the strong hitbox of Up B knocks enemies back further. Let's keep it frank, Doc is undesirable as a character because he's slow and hits hard, but with the changes, he hits a little harder, but still, you'd rather play Mario. With that, we've covered all the large changes, but we've got two more characters who got touched up to tell you about before we finish this video off. ZSS was the last of the frequently used top tiers that we saw touched. Alongside her shield size being increased, she got a slight nerf to her down B that now buries opponents for a shorter amount of time, requiring more percent to get a strong punish out of hitting a grounded enemy with the move. Duck Hunt was one of the lucky characters to get their shield size increased, and alongside that buff, they also had the hit stun on the rapid jab increased, allowing you to safely get a little more damage in before you finish up the attack. And that does it for the balance changes for patch 7.0. Who do you think has improved the most from this patch, and how do you think these changes, as well as the inclusion of Byleth, will change the meta? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you drop a subscribe on the channel and get those notifications, so you can be the first to up your Smash game right here with Pro Guides.